Time to play with some clay.
The one thing you notice when you start sculpting a dog's ear, it's got a particular structure to it. It's, uh, I don't know what this little dish area here is for. If anybody out there knows what that is for, I'd sure like to know it, just, just for the information. But uh, the dog's looking good. Now you see why I took it off the uh, the body. I could work on it a lot easier by itself. I still got some touching up on the on the head, but I think that's going to be good for the weekend. I used uh, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight different tools for that head. Tools are very important. When it comes to sculpting, if you don't have the right kind of tools, you can't get the uh, the effect you want. And uh, it really pays to have the right kind of tools. Um, I get my tools from uh, Sculpture Depot in Loveland, Colorado. Karen and her team over there are just all too willing to help you out uh, to answer your questions and to get you the right uh, tools. If you happen to mention my name and that you watch my videos, she knows what kind of tools I have and she can guide you to the almost the same kind of tools. One of the best tools you can get in your kit would be uh, these little tools with you can take the wire out and change interchange the wires. There's a Allen wrench uh, screw here, Allen screw here, and you just loosen it up and you can take the wire out and put in another tool, another shaped uh, wire tool in there. And you've got one handle that can take about five or six different. Uh, wire ends and that saves you a lot of money and these wire tools are so much stronger than the uh, the wooden ones this is about the third or fourth wooden tool that I've used or had to buy because they break loose and once they break loose they're useless this it gets loose you just tighten the, the allen screw with your uh, wrench Now, uh, this, uh, let's see if I can find it. Oh, there it is. This uh, silicone tip tool, unfortunately, you can't get it anymore. The lady that used to make them uh, had to quit because she was, her fingers or hands were giving her troubles making these things. And uh, they're dynamite tools, but you just, you just can't get them. I was just lucky to get get them before she quit making them. That's the that's the thing. I mean, I've got 50 years, over 50 years of sculpting experience, and uh, the tools just well that you got when you were younger aren't available anymore. Things change, and as you get older, you youngins <laughs> out there, you'll find out that. Uh, Things you could rely on when you were young uh, are not there anymore because things change. Things uh, aren't always the same. All right. I'll see you guys next week. And uh, have a great weekend, the rest of the weekend. Give me a thumbs up and share my video. And then check out my instructional DVDs, uh, the link down below this video. All right, see you next time.